All right, all right. What's up, people, man? I wanted to talk about this Adrian Broner uh, post to Floyd Mayweather's uh, picture where he loaded up with his him and his grandson of the shadow box and then a recent photo he uploaded yesterday. And in the comments, man, there was Adrian Broner who um, responded to the comment, but it's also Adrian Broner crying out for help to reach out to Floyd. Uh, where AB says, man, big bro, this shit is, this shit's amazing. He says, I promise, I think he will be one of the best. Just stay on him like your father was on you. Real talk. And I miss you, man. I know we ain't spoken in a while, but honestly, I think I need you the most right now. When it comes to this boxing shit, 100. And, uh, I mean, it's like, man, I spoke a while ago, man, and, and about how AB needed some serious help. He needed those close to him to help to guide him, man, to help lead him into the right direction. Because that one post I put on here, I didn't think I expect that many people uh, to post on it. But uh, it was where he was leaving out of a fight drunk and many people just thinking, oh, I mean, he just out having a drink. No, you can read through all this shit. AB is seriously going through a crisis. And I got comments in here where people are responding to the uh Post put out there, man. Some of them being positive, some of the people bashing him and speaking out like, man, you just doing this to try to get money. You didn't turn your back on the dude before you talk this shit. And you just want to be back in position because things are looking down for you. But then sometimes in your lowest moments, man, sometimes those people you turn your back on are the ones who you end up running back to. And it's just whether or not they can accept you back, whether they can trust you or not fully allow you back in, but not wanting to see you go through your downfall, man. And many, many positive things, man, to uh, uh, from the people that are out there. But everybody want to see A.B. win, but it's just A.B. has to want to see himself win. And it's just like where he put in the new album where he was speaking to something about the new album was addicted to fame or something dealing with fame and it all points to some of the things that set AB upon this wrong path, this path of uh, of defeat, man. It's, it was a mirage, man. It, it, it caused everything to escape him, but not so much of the fame, but his preparation and being ready for it, man. Being ready for what came with being at the top and what he was able to get close to Floyd. And when he got in that moment, what did he do? He did a Fred Harthorn. Betrayed motherfuckers he gets close to. And that's the wrong thing. And now you see what happens in his life, his personal life, the issues with the children's mother. Those things begin to weigh upon A.B. and they begin to affect him, man, as he wants his life back the way that he once had it. And uh, hopefully that comes back to him, man. Hopefully it really comes back to him. And maybe he can get this last shot with a fight. Here there's problems going on with the fight. But I think the AB really desperately needs these paydays, man. Hopefully he can put this check away and do something righteous with the earnings that he receives if the fight can go on. But uh, that's all I got. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.